and we believe that the actual deity it comes to the earth through that body of that person which for us is, is something very good because we are um, able to engage with our deities. For many years Candomblé was driven underground and the tradition still maintains a level of secrecy. We received special permission to film the ceremony. Candomblé was persecuted by the police and the religious authorities in Brazil, so anything that went against it, uh, it was considered savage or witchcraft and had to be, you know, just exterminated. In the temple's design, you can still see how Candomblé followers once disguised their traditions from authorities. For instance, in this altar here, uh, it used to be in the old days, it used to be full of uh, Catholic saints and uh, the, the Orishas, there's a door behind the altar and the Orishas used to be hidden inside, okay? So the, 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 Orisha. the Orisha shrines, they used to be hidden inside in the shelves. Because when the police would come to check what people were doing here, if they were playing drums and doing African rituals, they would be praying to the Catholic saints. <laughs> Today, Candomblé remains a melting pot of a religion, drawing followers from all over Brazil and the world. I'm Mariana Van Zeller in Salvador da Bahia, and this is Fusion.
freedom oh, oh, oh freedom oh freedom oh 